uh, as a young man or a young woman, you have more confidence to, to go where you're, wherever you need to go. If you had to, you can defend yourself. For the military community, for obvious reasons, or if your job may be called on the fight, it doesn't matter what branch. So any knowledge that you get in addition to whatever your training is, is always going to be helpful. Uh, I was born here in Yokosuka, Japan. I was a Navy brat. My dad uh, was uh, in the Navy for, for about 16 years. Oh! To be better physically, to be better mentally, and to be better emotionally. Those are three things that a that, uh, service member needs. So in MMA, you gotta give honor, you gotta give respect. You gotta, you gotta work hard. You gotta have desire, direction, diligence, discipline, dedication. You gotta have honor, commitment. You gotta have character, integrity, leadership. Those are all the things that you need to have. So if you have those things and you have those attributes and you have those characteristics, it's gonna be great. So that's what's similar, you know, very, very similar. What's also similar is the things we have to do in order to subdue our opponent. Served in the Army Fort Polk, Fort Hood, Texas. M1 tanker, Alpha 1st and 70th. <laughs> it's the structure. The regimental structure is most important. It's, it's some of the military was very good at installing it to people. As far as transferring that over into MMA, it was it was the discipline. It was understanding that this is what I had to do, these are what, this is what I have to go through, and being accepting of it. I mean, there's no, there is no shortcuts. Uh, it's a lot of hard work. A million other guys trying to do this that want your spot. You know, so if you're not on your game, that's it, it's your loss. Body lock and squeeze. Now, I'm gonna use this wall. You can't be afraid to fail. If you're afraid to fail, then you're not gonna do anything. So you, you get out all the kinks during your training. And then by the time the fight comes, you are like a brand new product. You're not afraid to fail because you know what's gonna happen. But every time that you fail, you learn something else and you get better. And then you have respect. That person knows more than me and I respect what they can do. And when you get in the ring with somebody lesser than you in talent or skill, then that's been shown to you. You need to show it to someone else. And for the most part, that's really ingrained in any of the martial arts. So if you don't embrace that, then you're not going to, you're not going to go very far in this life. You know, same thing in the military. You know, you gotta, you gotta be able to push yourself past your limit and then push yourself past that limit that you just set. So, so in, in, in essence, you're having a limitless perspective, you know, and, and that's what our men and women are doing in the armed forces. You guys have the hard job. You go out and have to fight, you have to be on ships for a long time at a time. Three, and we're gonna go live. We got Marines that go and may deploy at any moment. My job's to try to choke. And that's the really tough job. Our job is to get to have some fun, provide some services that you should hopefully be able to enjoy. And that's fun for us. When you come together in these events, that's just another way for, for people to feel that community and build that community. Everything I learned on the mats, off the mats, it was the people that I was surrounded with. They were all good people. I love them. I mean, and when we first met, complete strangers. It's been huge in my growth and my development as a human being.
you got to have a sense of community. You're only as good as the brother that's serving or the sister that's serving next to you, okay? Because as iron sharpens iron, so one man sharpens another, or woman, right? That's what it's all about. If I can make you better by sharpening you, Hey, so I'm coming here. Boom, I come In essence, here. you're gonna make me better, sharpening me. Now I come here, boom, boom. Here, now it's over, bang. And so we can get better together. Ow. Make sense? You guys got that? Got it. Let's try it, one, two, three. I just want to let you guys know I'm extremely grateful for everything you do. Like it is, it's you guys putting your lives on the line that give us our freedom. And I can't thank you enough. This is what we love. This is easy. You know, it's it's an honor and a privilege to give it to you. I mean, it means it means a lot to give back. So. You know, for me to be able to give back to the people that defend our country is is amazing for me to do. And especially for me being a Navy brat and seeing what my dad did for for the for our country and. For, for the Navy and Armed Forces, man, I, it's, it's the least I can do, man. So, you know, I want to be able to give back as much as I can.